You need a break. This is Pastor Elliot Cook from Jackson Street Baptist Church here to give you that break. I want to share with you a verse uh, today. It's found in Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 7. It says, one person pretends to be rich yet has nothing. Another person pretends to be poor and yet has great wealth. I want you to think about that for a moment. I had a a previous church experience. There was a, a wonderful fella in, in the leadership of the church. And uh, the more I got to know him, the more impressed I became. First of all, I, I noticed that he was involved in the leadership of the church, that he was a good Christian man. He didn't just go to church. He was the church. He, he cared about people. Uh, he served his Lord, used his gifts and talents, helped lead our church. And uh, then I got to know him on a, on a personal level and his character and his, the qualities of his life. And then I got to know him even more and found out that he was the vice president of an international company, that uh, he was well off and, and yet he drove a Chevy. You know, he lived modestly. He and his wife were in a townhouse and never in my thoughts did I think that this man was well off or had airs about him. He was just one of the guys and he was that impressive to me. And, um, you know, I think of that experience and I contrast it with somebody who, like the verse says, pretends to be rich. And it reminds me of that commercial, the guy's riding on his lawnmower and he says, I'm in debt up to my eyeball. Eyeball, somebody help me. Remember that commercial? I think it's for an investment firm. I can't remember. But uh, the point is that, that he's pretending to be rich. He's got, you know, the huge estate and everything nice and the newest of everything. And yet he is poor. And my friend who, who was wealthy actually pretended to be poor. Now, he wasn't pretending. He had other... Um, things he wanted to do with his wealth. Uh, is that what this verse is talking about? Uh, it seems to me that there's the Mother Teresas of this world who take a vow of poverty and live poorly, live meagerly, live modestly, and they are rich beyond any wealthy person. And I believe Mother Teresa represents that very well. And there are others who, who strive and struggle with their work and their careers to accomplish and achieve and to build. And they reach the top of their, this, their success and, and they're at the pinnacle of their, their um, profession. And they climb that mountain their whole life long. And when they finally get there, they take a look around. They realize they've cl cl climbed the wrong mountain. I pray that that's not you. You need a break. Take a moment to evaluate. Are you on the right course? Are you climbing the right mountain? Are you chasing after wind? Are you, are you putting your value into something worthwhile or something that's not going to last? This is Pastor Elliot Cook taking that break with you. Think about it. Pray about it. Ask God what he might have in store for you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.